Just six weeks ago, a thief assaulted and maced a longtime employee of Casey Market, leaving the elderly woman's eyes burning and injuring her back. But the incident was just the beginning of a series of thefts, including a burglary this morning at the 40-year-old neighborhood store. They live in trepidation and fear every day now. It's not you know, safe for them. Um, these people prey on the elderly. Over the past several months, the owners of Casey Market says crime has exploded in the Kalihi area. Roy Chang's parents, who asked not to be identified, have run the mom and pop shop peacefully for years. The couple know most of their neighbors and customers by name. Yeah. I come back. Yes. Oh, okay. You know, all the kids from the elementary come over here, grab musubis, and get all the drinks, and it's convenient for all of us. It's all the crimes is really sad, and then it's affecting you know everybody, not only the stores but the the neighborhood too, huh? The rash of crimes includes stealing the family car right from their home behind the store and thousands of dollars worth of cash and goods from the business. We've talked to the police many times and they see the people that were responsible for it still seem to be coming around. We don't seem to be getting any relief. But today's burglary pushed the family over the edge. At least two men broke in through a back window and is seen rummaging through the store and breaking into the cash register. They try to break into the ATM, but uh, there's a solid lock on here, so they weren't able to get it. My dad wanted to live his life out here, you know, um, run the store until, you know, his last days. This is the final straw now. So after 40 years, they're, they've, uh, you know, thrown in the towel. Because of the crime wave and lack of consequences for criminals, the family plans to sell the store they worked for years to build. Chang hopes that by sharing his family's story, there will be changes to the justice system so that other small businesses won't face the same fate. If there's no consequences, I mean, people are going to keep on doing it. I mean, is it the cops? Is it the judicial system? Is it the prosecutors that aren't putting them away? Is it the jails that are over full? I mean, I don't know what the solution is, but uh, something needs to be done. And the community won't continue to live in fear. It's happening more so everywhere, but, you know, like coming closer to home is kind of more fearful. So, yeah, watching, got to watch out for my kids, too, so...